Hi everybody, welcome back. Just want to touch on a couple of things today. First and foremost, Naomi Wu has just released the news that the Ender 3 is now completely open source. Not just the firmware, but the electronics and everything is completely open source. That is certainly a first for Creality and maybe a first for any fully ma you know manufactured 3D printer, except for you know ones you might built out of you may have built out of open source parks. But um, this is probably all Naomi Wu's doing. She's a big open source person and as Creality's representative she has been pushing them more and more in this direction. So kudos to both Creality and to her for making this happen. I think we will see a lot of interesting new mods once this um, fully disseminates into the hands of people who love modding 3D printers. The other thing I want to talk about is an upgrade to your Ender 3 or to any printer that comes with a poor one of these from the factory. And that is this little unit. This little unit is the, see if we can get the camera to focus. Eh, maybe not. This little unit is the Z-axis step lead screw connector. It connects the Z-axis on the small end to the lead screw on the big end. So when the leads, when the Z-axis turns, the lead screw turns. A lot of these you'll see on more expensive printers and more expensive, you know, other types of machines that have stepper motors or driving motors. We'll have a lot of spiral winds around here. And that gives you protection for if you do something dumb like me and you jerk around with the ending G-code script and your Z-axis when it's done slams the the, Z, the Z stepper motor slams the Z-axis down on top of your print. The spiral windings expand and it, you know, it protects your machine from being destroyed or damaged. This doesn't have that. And of course the ones with the spiral windings, if that's all whacked, you know, once that happens, you have to replace it. So this also doesn't give you any wobble. It, the two have to line up almost perfectly or things are going to bind. So here's an inexpensive replacement. I got this one from TH3D Studio. It's probably available on GearBest for $1.49 or whatever. But these are, gosh darn it, camera, come on. These are $4.95 on TH3D Studios, and you'll see it's two parts. There's, a, there's one part here, one part here, and there is some plastic, probably something like Delrin or a similar, you know, tough plastic that snaps the two together. Let me see if I can show you how it works. Kind of simulate, simulate it being connected here. You will see first that there is a little bit, as I go around and around, there's a little bit of wobble. Now, for those of you who are having issues getting your lead screw lined up, this isn't going to be a complete solution. But boy, it would sure help you get in that last millimeter or two that you can't seem to line up. Also, if things get completely wacky and you ram, do what I did, and you ram the lead screw down, it separates. And the nice thing about these, when it happens and it does separate, you can always just pop it back together again. And not only is your machine protected, but you're back in business without having to replace this. So for five bucks, or if you want to wait six weeks to get it from a Chinese retailer, you might order four or five of them just in case you buy more printers. This is a very worthwhile upgrade. I think it's um, something everybody might really want to consider doing. The next thing I want to cover is I've been working really hard lately. I have been designing things, prototypes, and printing things for an auction. And here a little bit ago, I just wanted to have a little bit of fun. So I printed this. Let me get this out of the way. You move the machine over a little. I downloaded this off. I can't remember whether I got it. Oh, you know what? Let me tip the camera up instead. I can't remember whether, I think I got this one from, from my mini factory, but I may have also got it from Thingiverse. I've downloaded so much stuff that I forget what's what. This is obviously, for those of you, or maybe not so, for those of you who don't know, this is the Big Guns bobblehead from the Fallout video game series, which I was a big fan of and still am. The bo it's all printed in PLA. The base and the body is a light blue PLA. The gun is supposed to be gold, but it kind of looks more bronzish to me, but it's definitely 
better, I think, than black, although it might look cool with the gun barrels black. And the head is a very light, almost coffee with cream, brown color. I'm not a very good painter, so it may stay like this. My wife offered to paint it. I may take her up on that. And I made a bobblehead spring for it because you can't seem to buy, just go out and buy springs for bobbleheads. I made one out of safety wire, which really was actually fairly easy to do. I was kind of surprised. Anyway, I thought that was kind of fun. If you've ever wanted a bobblehead from Fallout 4, other than buy one on eBay for some ridiculous price, here's a way for everybody with a 3D printer to get a pretty darn good facsimile of it. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this. And I want to say a special thanks to those of you who have clicked on my affiliate links and used them. It has really helped out, and we are going to get at least one cool new thing in here very soon that we are going to build and modify and have a boatload of fun with, and maybe you guys can see if it's something you'd like to have as well. If you've gotten something out of this video, please like and subscribe. And as I mentioned before, my affiliate links are down below. If you're considering an Ender 3 or another printer, it will not cost you any extra. It will help out a little bit, and we'll get some neat stuff in here. Have a great day. Bye-bye.